You're planning to play Amnesia the Bunker, but you would like to have at least a bit of an understanding on how the game and Monster AI works. Fret not, this is why I'm here today, and as I'm not here to waste your time, let's just get right into it. Many of you are probably already aware that noise attracts the monster, but not all noise is the same, as there are different levels and types of noise, with different consequences. The majority of noises you're going to make will most likely be quiet noises, for example moving objects, cracking up your flashlight, slamming doors or simply running. While it's of course best to avoid any type of noise, the aforementioned noises are often unavoidable, and if you don't excessively perform them, for example, you only have to crank up your flashlight two times, so leave it at that and don't overdo it. The monster will most likely not spawn immediately, but slowly emerge as a certain threshold of that quiet noise is reached. Loud noises on the other hand, like explosions and gunshots, will in my experience at least, definitely cause the monster to emerge immediately. So pre-plan your escape route before you attempt to blow up a door or something similar. Just because the monster emerged does not mean you have to absolutely escalate and waste all your bullets on the monster, because chances are, the monster has not even noticed you in particular just yet. Of course this depends on the situation, but in many cases the monster will simply start investigating to see what caused the noise, and if you manage to successfully stay out of sight, you will most likely not even have to deal with the monster any further. Crouching is your best friend in this case, as that is the quietest way to move around. If you ever see dust coming out of a hole, make sure you get the hell out of whichever room you're currently in, as the monster will spawn there any moment or drag you in and kill you. Which begs for tip number 4. Fortunately for us, you can use crates, chairs, gas cylinders or any other furniture to block holes, which will slow down the monster. This will give you at least some very precious seconds to get your bearings and run away successfully. Close both doors in the administration room as this is your only safe house, and since the doors are made of steel and provide locks, they can and will keep the monster away from you, if only remember to close and lock them at any time. Except that there's simply not enough fuel to keep the generator running 24-7, at least not on your first playthrough, as you most likely will not know where exactly you have to go, leading to a slower progress than the generator's fuel consumption. Ask yourself what you want to do next and if it really requires the generator to run, aka the lights to be on. If you're going on a big mission, advancing the story, it might be a good idea to pump up the generator. If you're just going to empty a few lockers, not far away from a safe zone, it might be best to just carefully do that in the dark and save the fuel for later. The rabbit toy is more functional than you might expect at first glance. While I'm not gonna spoil where you get this toy, because you can only get it pretty late in the game anyways, I can tell you that if you throw it at the monster, he will take it and run away with it, which makes it fairly valuable in extreme situations. If you really must know where to get this item though, a simple google search will most probably provide instant results. I would find out for yourself though. My last tip. You really want to avoid losing progress when you have managed to advance the story, or when you found a valuable item. So as the game thankfully gives you the option to save the game at any time by simply clicking the lamp in your safe zone, make sure to head back there as often as possible and hit that lamp. And without spoiling too much, that's pretty much the most important stuff you have to know. If you did find this helpful, consider subscribing, as I'm trying to reach 1000 subscribers by the end of the year, so you can help me out if you want. See you next time.